Morning, everybody. I'm uh, Deputy Chief Eric Gandy of the Clearwater Police Department, E-R-I-C, G-A-N-D-Y. Uh, last night at about uh, 8.15 p.m., uh, Lasupta Singletary of Zephyr Hills was shot and killed during the commission of an armed robbery. Singletary's accomplice, Jarnellen Coleman of Dade City, has been charged with second-degree felony murder and armed robbery. The two met with 36-year-old Luis Orndorff and her son, Caleb Orndorff, 18, of Largo, in the parking lot of the Bank of America located at Bel Air Road in Belcher to negotiate the sale of a Nissan Rogue. During the course of the transaction, Coleman and Singletary were armed and demanded the keys to the Hyundai Veloster that Caleb Orndorff was driving. During the course of the robbery, Luis Orndorff fired a shot striking Singletary. Coleman drove the car to Meese Countryside Hospital where Singletary was pronounced dead. During the course of this investigation, we recovered several firearms. We're conducting forensic tests and ballistic tests on those firearms regarding this investigation. The investigation is ongoing. There's some complications and uh, questions over the transaction that occurred in this parking lot and the circumstances of how these two groups came together. We're reviewing all those. We will conduct a complete and thorough investigation, and at the conclusion, we may or may not refer additional charges. you have any qu questions of me related to this? Do you know how many guns these two guys had on them? We're unsure is how many weapons. We, we've re recovered a number of weapons related to this investigation. We don't know exactly how many are attributed to these two suspects. How many did you recover? I can't go into that right now. Uh, how many times was uh, Singletary shot? Uh, we can't divulge that at this point. Was it lawful for Ornda, uh, Louise Orndorff to possess a firearm that she used? Uh, we're looking at all aspects of this case to include her possession and acquisition of this weapon. What about the guys, friends? In, in terms of? In terms of if they legally had the guns? Uh, it doesn't appear so. Okay. What kind of additional charges would, who would, would they be for Coleman or would they be for her? It remains to be seen. Like I said, this is the early uh, part of this investigation and we're looking at all aspects of it to see uh, what we can ascertain uh, through some of the forensics evidence and the uh, statements we've been provided. The timing of the shot is clearly what we're looking at. Can you describe why that's important? Excuse me, repeat that. The timing of the first shot is what's in, is clearly what we're looking at. Well, it's, it's all critical into this uh, robbery that took place and then certainly at the time at which the shot was fired. We've obtained statements from the people involved, but we have to, to look further into this. Was Singletary already in the car when he was shot at? Was he outside? Was he in close range? I'm not prepared to go into that at this point. The statement that we had so far said that they were leaving the parking lot at that point. So this. Yeah, d this all occurred during the course of the armed robbery. The actual details of the engagement between the two groups of folks, we're still looking at the, the timeline and the exact details of how that transpired. By the law, why would it matter if they were already driving out of the parking lot? Well, it depends. Uh, and, and I think we have to, to look at this in terms of the timeline of the actual shot that was fired during the course of this armed robbery. There's no question based on the charges that we've levied to this point that an armed robbery occurred. So you're going to have to let us look into this further and continue our investigation so we'll have a more accurate timeline in terms of the actual engagement and the time the shot was fired. Is there any Louise Warnduff or um, Caleb Warnduff had criminal records? Uh, I'm not sure at this point. I have not seen a surveillance video at this point. There is one? I can't tell you that. Can you, you don't know or you can't tell me? I can't tell you. Can you clarify for us, I know it's during the commission of an armed robbery, the second degree murder charge. Can you just clarify why he would be charged? With sure. Um, it's a felony murder charge or in the commission of a felony, the armed robbery. and. Uh, his, what would have been the co-defendant was killed during the course of this, so he's chargeable for that offense. So go over that with me. This this is his accomplice, and you know they're they're clearly clearly acquaintances at the very least, friends. And even though he wasn't the one that pulled the trigger and killed Singletary, he's being charged with the murder of his friend. 
Yes, so during the course of, he's ultimately responsible because they were both engaged in a forcible felony at this point, and his uh, co-defendant, if he had survived, was shot during the course of it. So that, you know, can you just again talk to us about, you know, I don't, I don't want to say the irony of it, but I mean, they, the two of them went there together to commit a crime, and one's shot and the other one's going to be charged with the murder. That's correct, and that's the felony murder law. And is that fair? I mean, can you just kind of elaborate? I'm not going to speculate on whether that's fair or not, but that's the, that's the law as it is currently, and it's been that way for a long time. The Chief Craigslist and other, uh, other ways to sell cars are pretty popular uh, uh, these days. Any advice to anybody that would uh, go to a, a place to do a, a, a transaction such as this, to, uh, any rules of the road? Well, certainly it's speculative to say that this was a Craigslist case, and we don't have information that it was at this point. Um, but, but in any kind of transaction, whether you're engaging it vis-a-vis -vis Craigslist or word of mouth or newspaper ad, uh, you should do so in a public place. Um, and, uh, you know, quite frankly, we have had a number of robberies that are related to transactions because someone believes that someone's bringing something of value to that transaction. So, yes, public places, police departments uh, are, are good places to conduct those transactions if you have questions about them. Do you, do you, thank you. Do you get a sense of these two... Um uh, were engaged in any fr uh, uh, activities and any evidence that they uh, were sort of guys that would ride around and, and commit crimes or outlaws on the wrong side of the law? Well, uh, I don't want to speculate on and to all that, but what I will tell you is that uh, based on their history, which is, you can see before you, and, you know, the fact that they were engaged in an armed robbery um, leads something to, to their character, I would say. The brief that we got about this says, as the two left the scene in the Veles Veloster, however you pronounce it, Louise Orna fired a shot striking Singletary. So that's what we got this morning, but there seems to be some mystery now as to when that shot was fired. So, I mean, was it shot while they were in the Veloster leaving the scene, or is that not fact anymore? No, that, that's accurate, but I'm talking about the actual timeline and the circumstances of the shot being fired. I can't go into the details of that aspect of the engagement. But to be clear, it was shot as they were leaving the scene and he was inside the car. Correct. Okay. Are they cooperating with you? Have they talked to you? And... We've obtained statements from the parties involved in this case. If this is being passed along to the state attorney's office, why would they be considering the possibility of charges against Ms. Warndoff? Uh, I didn't say that they would be considering charges against Ms. Warndoff. I said, why, why should they be? Um, her possession of the weapon, the, the manner in which she possessed it, um, those types of things, how she accessed the weapon. Uh, so there's some questions that have yet to be answered related to those aspects of the case. Was the weapon hers? I can't. Say I'm not I'm not sure. Well, that timeline. Um, I know you can't go into it right right now, but of her shooting at them as they were leaving. I mean, to me, that says was it necessary for her to fire at them if they were leaving? I mean, were they firing back at her? I mean, why would she need to? And could that affect possible charges? These are all nuances to the case that we've yet to flesh out. I mean, someone mentioned earlier video. They're in a bank parking lot. I've yet to see a video. I don't know if one exists, but that may be telling. So we don't have all the facts at this point, and we're still conducting an active investigation. So I can't opine on a lot of things here, but uh, you know the fact remains that they were in the commission of an armed robbery when this occurred. Was it wise for this woman, this civilian, to bring a gun to this transaction? I mean, she clearly was looking out for herself. Should people be doing this? I can't speculate on, on whether it was wise for her to do that or not. Why is it clear that it was an armed robbery? Um, I don't want to go into all the details there, but we have individuals that indicated that, uh, at least one of them, that they were here to commit an armed robbery. I don't understand. I can't clarify that anymore for you. Did mom and son know these two guys prior to last night? I'm unsure of that. I don't believe so. And then, because uh, I know he asked about Craigslist, so I just want to make sure that we're very clear. You do not know right now, or you're not saying how these two groups came together. We do not believe this was a, a Craigslist uh, listing for this vehicle, and we don't believe that that was how they came together. 
how did they come together last night? I can't, I can't go into that uh, at this point. Like I said, we're still looking at all aspects of this case. It's a little bit convoluted. We have some differing stories as to how they came to engage in this transaction, and I can't go into it any further. Chief, can you speculate that the caveat here is that the, the threat was over and she fired her police, I mean, fired her weapon? Um, I'm not going to speculate as to that aspect of the case. I mean, there, there's no speculation there. She fired a weapon during the course of an armed robbery. The timeline is going to be critical in determining when that shot was fired and what the threat was at the point in time the shot was fired. Why is that important? It's important to determine whether the threat still existed at the point in time the shot was fired or not. Besides their statements, do you have any um, call logs between them, text messages, emails that may I don't have up? I don't have that information. Was, was the Nissan registered to either of those two people or was it a stolen vehicle they were trying to sell? Um, I don't believe it was registered to the parties involved in the transaction and I don't believe it was stolen. What would the difference be between what you just alluded to there at the end of my question, which is whether the threat still existed or not? I don't want to go into hypotheticals in an ongoing active investigation that's still pending. Well, you don't have to be hypothetical. In general, if somebody fires a shot at somebody as they're leaving as opposed to in the commission of the actual robbery or the confrontation, what's the difference as to whether or not you could be charged for that? Well, I'll give you a hypothetical. The car is leaving and is two blocks away driving down the road and someone shoots them is a problem because the threat is no longer there. That's a hypothetical. That's not the facts and circumstances before us, but that's a hypothetical because it's important to determine whether the threat existed or not. Do you have the year, the years of the cars involved? I don't. Did Orndorff uh, report this to the police? Do you know? Did she call the police? Yes, yes, she contacted the police. Is it a 911 tape? Or, or that? I, I don't have it with me and I don't have it available. It's an ongoing active investigation. At this point, I really don't uh, have any more for you guys. Uh, we'll feed you further information as we obtain it. Was Thank there you. Was there a Nissan at all at the scene? Or was that because I know that was listed in the alert? Yeah, and this, this will be the last question I answer on it. Yes, there was a Nissan was on the scene, uh, as was the Hyundai. Okay. Is that the mother's son showing up with two different vehicles? Yes. Okay. Yep. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys.